असलम स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू मुझे उम्मीद है आप सब लोग ठीक होंगे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फाइव ऑन डिस्ट्रॉइंग बुक्स रिटन बाय जे सी स्क्वायर अबाउट द राइटर ही वॉज द मॉडर्न राइटर एंड इन दिस चैप्टर और इन दिस एसे ही इज गोइंग टू talk about a very common problem of every house and that is how to destroy the unwanted books he touches the topic in a very, very light manner and in a very humorous way and he also gives you some examples of the people that how they try to destroy their books that are unwantedly accumulated at their homes ji to bachcho सबसे पहले यू जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट वट डू यू डू विद सच बुक्स जो आपके घर में बहुत ज़्यादा बुक्स इकट्ठी हो जाती हैं जिनको कोई पढ़ने वाला नहीं होता और जो अलमारियों में पड़ी रहती हैं और वहीं पे साल हर साल पड़ी रहती हैं तो आप लोग उन बुक्स का क्या करते हैं जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दट वट वट इज़ डन विद such sort of books obviously the if i ask you the question the answer will be that they give it to the second hand purchasers and then take some money in return raddi mein de dete hain ya phir kisi needy ko de dete hain but what about those books that are staying in in your uh, uh, at your house on your shelves uh from many many years and there is no use of it and there is no one who is demanding that books of you so uh what is the uh, way to destroy or to get rid of those books that is a very uh, important question so this is the thing that the writer is uh, trying to discuss and he is giving you an idea that uh, uh, what has happened with him once when he had a lot of such books and he didn't know what to do with them uh, what did he do so uh, we'll talk about it later uh, let's uh, start this chapter he starts the uh, uh, first paragraph in a very interesting manner he says it says in the paper that over a million of volumes have been presented to the troops by the public अखबारों में ये बात पढ़ी गई है कि लाखों वॉल्यूम जो हैं किताब किताबें जो हैं वो ट्रुप्स को फौजियों को तोहफतान भेजी जाती हैं इट वुड बी इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्टिंग टू इंस्पेक्ट दैम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज टू टू हैव अ लुक ऑफ दोज बुक्स दैट वट सॉर्ट ऑफ बुक्स आर दीज मोस्ट ऑफ दैम नो डाउट आर क्वाइट ऑर्डनरी एंड सूटेबल but it was publicly stated that such a such as magazines 20 years old guides to lake district and back numbers of vitakers uh, almanac no these are some sort of books that are given to them uh, and uh, it was publicly stated other the other day it was uh, a public news that what sort of books are those that are given to those troops magazines 20 years old guides to lake district it's a type of guide uh, for the tourists and uh, a back number of uh, witekers almanac these all uh, almanac uh, is a sort of uh, annual publication including calendars weather records or the economic statistics of some country in fact very boring and uninteresting uh, for the common people so these were such sort of books that were given to them it was a very tragic thing to look at uh, in some cases one may uh, one imagines such indigestibles get into the parcels by accident but it is likely that there are those who jump at opportunity of getting rid uh, of books they they don't want ऑब्वियसली लोग उसी चीज़ को घर से निकालते हैं दूसरों को देने के लिए जो उनके खुद के अपने किसी काम की नहीं होती तो दैट इज़ अमन नेचर एंड इज़ टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इन अ वेरी ह्यूमरस मैनर 
uh, why have they kept them if they don't want them that is the question but most people especially non bookish people underline the term it must be new for you people non bookish people those people who are uh, having no relation with the books illiterate sort of people that are reluctant to throw away anything that that uh, looks like a book it it's again a human nature that uh, uh, those people are very much conscious about the books who are illiterate or uh, whom you can call that they are non bookish sort of people uh, they, who have who has uh, who have never been in relation with the books so those people are very much reluctant uh, to throw away the books in uh, in the most illiterate houses that one knows every wordless volume that is about, that is bought finds its way to the shelf and stays there obviously it happens in many houses that uh, uh, such sort of books that are unwanted and uh, 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 which is uh, 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 no, no one is there to uh, read that they just take it and uh, and keep it at some shelf and that stays there forever in reality it is not uh, or merely absurd to keep rubbish merely because it is printed it is positively a public duty to destroy it so that is the thing that writer wants to say to you under the underline this uh, uh, sentence in reality it is not merely absurd to keep rubbish रबिश मेयरली बिकॉज इट इज़ प्रिंटेड ये किसी चीज़ को आप सिर्फ इसलिए संभाल के रख लें कि वो प्रिंटेड है सो इट इज़ पॉजिटिवली अ पब्लिक ड्यूटी नेसेसरीली इट्स अ पब्लिक ड्यूटी टू डिस्ट्रॉय इट डिस्ट्रक्शन नॉट मेयरली मेक्स मोर रूम फॉर न्यू बुक्स बट सेव्स वन जेयर्स द ट्रबल ऑफ सॉर्टिंग आउट द रबिश और स्टोरिंग इट obviously if uh, you destroy some books it will save your ears it will save your successors ears next coming generations now uh, from this botheration of uh, if to sort it out or to uh, store it in the house these are two situations na ke aane wali naslein jo hain wo is baat se bach jayengi ke पुरानी बुक्स जो दादा पर दादा के टाइम की पड़ी हुई हैं उनको उन्होंने सॉर्ट आउट करके बाहर निकालना है या उनको स्टोर करना है तो वो इस एक बहुत बड़ी बॉदरेशन से बच जाएंगे अगर आप इनको डिस्ट्रॉय कर देंगे तो बट इट इज़ नॉट ऑलवेज इजी टू डिस्ट्रॉय बुक्स दे मे नॉट हैव एज मैनी लाइव एज अ कैट बट इट इज सडन ही डाई हार्ड so uh, again in a very very light manner he is going to touch the topic uh, in a very interesting way and he says that uh, uh, that it is not easy to destroy books then they may not have many uh, as many lives as a cat but they certainly die hard obviously ye kisi bhi book ko destroy karna phenkna itna hi mushkil hota hai jitna ke kisi cat se jaan chudana and you know that cats never leave your home and if you uh, leave them away uh, uh, from your home and they will come back that is very interesting and uh, many many uh, tidbits are um, uh, common about it i i'll not go in that detail and it is sometimes uh, difficult to find a scaffold for them scaffold uh, means phansi ka phanda a place to uh, destroy a uh, place uh, where you can uh, get rid of these books uh, uh, to kill a place to kill the books uh, so the difficulty once uh, bought me almost within the shadow of the rope shadow of the rope again it is for the scaffold where the people are hang and shadow of the rope means that i was just uh, near to be hanged about it about the matter i was uh, uh, i i was so much uh, uh, in, in such a great difficulty uh, uh, taking this matter to uh, destroy the books uh, i i was saved very hard 
I was living in a small and as Shakespeare would say under the uh, uh, sorry in within the parenthesis he is quoting Shakespeare that uh, in a very uh, artistic way he wants to convey it that uh, I was living in a heaven kissing flat in Chelsea. Chelsea uh, was the town where he was living in a very very uh, high sort of building and his flat was almost heaven kissing where he was living and books of inferior minor words gradually accumulated there until at last I was faced with alternative of either evicting the books or else leaving them in sole undisturbed tenancy and taking rooms elsewhere, elsewhere for myself in a very interesting way. He says कि मेरा छोटा सा फ्लैट था चेल्सी में और वो बहुत एक बुलंद इमारत थी जिसके अंदर मैं रहता था and the books uh, very inferior sort of books minor words के जो कोई आम सी आमियाना किस्म की शायरी की books होती हैं that were accumulated uh, in such a great quantity there at my home that I was fa really facing a problem what to do with them. Whether to uh, 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 whether to uh, destroy them, evict them, destroy them, nikal phenkna, bahir karna, or to um, or to leave leave them there. There was another uh, a choice uh, uh, that uh, he should have left them in in that uh, undisturbed uh, uh, tenancy there in his house. कि वो अपने ही घर में अपनी बुक्स को अपना ही घर अपनी बुक्स को किराए पे देकर खुद कहीं और चला जाता। No, uh, now uh, no one would have bought them, bought these books. The first question that comes to every mind. That is to sell, to sell them. But he says, कोई ऐसा नहीं होगा जो इन बुक्स को खरीद लेगा। I therefore had to throw them away or wipe them off the map altogether, completely wipe them off the map altogether. के in such a definite way he's talking about in a very interesting way के he wants to say I I therefore had to throw them away कि मुझे ऐसा करना पड़ा कि मैं उनको फेंक देता दुनिया के नक्शे से मिटा देता but how that was the question again how to do that there were scores of them कोई दो चार books तो नहीं थी उसका पूरा flat उनसे अटा पड़ा था भरा पड़ा था I had no cooking range and I could not uh, uh, toast them on the gas cooker or consume them leaf by leaf in my small study fire. That was another way to kill them, to burn them leaf by leaf, page after page. He says that was uh, uh, it was uh, not possible for me to do that. I had no gas cooker there, there, there on the gas cooker, toast them on the gas cooker or consume them or, or to... Uh, burn them leaf by leaf for it is almost uh, as hopeless to try to burn a book without opening it as to try to burn a piece of granite again in a very touching manner he says that uh, it is almost hopeless hopelessly impossible uh, to try to burn a book kitab ko jalana जब वो बिल्कुल नहीं हो जिसको आपने खोला भी नहीं है without opening it as to try to burn a piece of granite it was so difficult जैसा कि किसी granite एक पत्थर को कहते हैं उसको जलाना मुश्किल है it was like that so in the end I determined uh, to do them that uh, what so many people do with the kittens आखिरकार उसने एक फैसला किया और उसने वो क्या फैसला किया कि उनके साथ वो वही करेगा जो लोग बिल्ली के बच्चों के साथ करते हैं तो वो क्या करते हैं to uh, tie them up and consign them to the river कि उनको वो किसी चीज में बांधेगा और दूर दरिया में कहीं फेंक आएगा I improvised a sack उसने एक बहुत बड़ा सारा थैला लिया stuffed the books into it put it over my shoulder and went, went down the stairs into the darkness. Very interesting. What happened with him next? Uh, we'll see in our next lecture. Isn't it very interesting, girls? 
ऑब्वियसली लोग बिल्ली के बच्चों के साथ भी यही कुछ करते हैं या बिल्लियों के साथ जो उनके घर को छोड़ के नहीं जाना चाहती उनको दूर दराज कहीं छोड़ आते हैं लेकिन मोस्टली ऐसा होता है कि वो उनके अपने घर पहुंचने से पहले घर पहुंच जाती हैं या फिर इतनी दूर चले जाते हैं कि खुद उनको अपने घर का रास्ता भी भूल जाए तो बिल्ली के साथ साथ वापस आते हैं कि उनका घर किधर है तो देट वॉज जस्ट आ ह्यूमर ओके गर्ल्स In our next lecture, we'll see that what happened with him, J- uh, uh, with him, Jesse Squire. Uh, how did he ca- uh, came to the shadow of the rope, and how was he rescued? That is another uh, very interesting story, and we'll uh, discuss this interesting story in our next le- uh, next lecture. So till then, Allah Hafiz.